guys, I'm Bree Andersi and today we're going to be fishing by foot. Where do you guys think I should fish next? Tell me in the comments below. Oh, hold on. I think it might be this one. Yeah. We had a nice little hike to get back here and we're going to be throwing in a, a creek. So it's brackish water, it's up a creek. And there's this nice little area that's not that much bigger than a pond, but uh, I know there's some fish in there. So we're going to throw some artificials and we're going to see if we can catch anything. The spot that we're fishing today, it's a good hike. It, it's a good 30 minute hike. So I wanted to make sure that I brought my arsenal of of lures. Right now I'm putting a topwater lure on. Um, I know this spot produces and the first couple throws I have the best chance of something getting on the topwater. So I'm going to be using a topwater and a swim bait. I just know there's some submerged logs that I have to be careful with. So to start off I'm going to do the topwater and see if we have any topwater hits. Because these are really the most fun. <laughs> Watch this guy come up and follow the bait, or follow our um, little floater here at least two times, and then he finally hit. Woo! We're back here in brackish water, and we're throwing our little floater here, and this guy hit. So whenever I get an occasional snook, it just, it's the best. All right, let's get him back in the water. First fish of the day, we're gonna get him back in the water. Such a fun fight. Let's get him in. All right, first one down. Let's get some more. I just got a snook. All right, so I just got one on the top. I was throwing that a few times, so I'm gonna switch to a swim bait, just so I don't spook all the fish. So the last one, I want it to be more at the top because snook attack from the underneath, so do bass. This one's gonna drop down a little bit, so if the fish are a little bit deeper, they'll swim by, it catches attention. I'm gonna change it out and see if we can find any bass. Oh man, we're gonna get a bath. Mm. Honey shot. <laughs> They're loving this. move to the spots back here. The terrain is a little bit different than most places I go to. Um, there's the cypress knees that come out, there's trees that come over, and I pretty much just explored this whole creek. So I went north, I went south, I went anywhere that was big enough to throw an artificial. So we're gonna keep moving down and get deeper a little bit over here. I was just doing some test casts to see if there's any bass sitting under those logs. 
I'm only gonna try a few here. I thought that was a gator for a second. <laughs> I'm making the drag a little bit tighter just because I lost my last lure on that log. And if I catch something decent, the snook have, have the ability to really pull me around, especially with a bass rod. So I'm making it a little bit tighter than I normally would so that it doesn't end up in that log. Oh, that's a branch. Okay, let's try that first spot. All right, so to get across here, actually, I'm gonna go with it. No, better. Okay. That's a good thing. So if there are many more here. I saw the flash of silver, I'm like, what the heck could that be? In the shape of it, I'm like, that's not a bass. And I saw the line. Oh, that's so cool. He's so tiny. Oh wow. That's special. All right, it's time to head in. Gonna cross back over and hike back. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. Got two snook and it was super exciting to see that there is a little baby one. I always love pulling snook out of this kind of environment. Uh, it's brackish water, a little bit of fresh in there and, and it's always a surprise when I get a snook. Be sure to follow along today. I got to do a little tree fishing, so you'll see that later. Uh, but look out for the videos every other Tuesday.